All right, guys. Well, I'm just on my run, and uh, this happens occasionally. Where we'll find these guys. And the, in the road right here is a little eastern musk turtle. As I said before, I'm just on my morning run. We're just going to help him across the road in the direction he's heading so that he doesn't get hit by any cars. Yeah. Don't know why he was coming over to such a small ditch, but I assume he knows what he's doing. We'll put him, we'll put him, we'll put him in the drain. Cool stuff. Well, I have to get back on my run. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. The last you guys saw of me was last night when I was editing the video that I posted last. Um, I mean, it was... I don't know how long it will be ago. It'll be at least maybe like the middle days of a week. That's three. But I could... It could have been longer depending on uh, how much content I'm able to get today. Basically, the point of today is to go out and then catch as many uh, snakes as possible because it's kind of warm. Don't know if I'm going to find anything. The sun isn't really out. It's kind of muggy. But it's warmer than it has been, which is a good thing when it comes to catching snakes. So we're going to try to get the first snake of the new year today. I'll see you all in a bit. First herp of the day. Uh, I usually wouldn't go to such great lengths for such a small thing, but it's been a while since I've caught ah, old, any form of reptile. So we're just going to go grab him down here. It's a little musk turtle. Eastern musk. Maybe maybe mud. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Cool little dude. Uh, I'm going to try to get some photos with my new camera after I get out of the water because it's a little cold right now. It's just a tad bit chilly. Jeez, it's, it's really cold. Yeah, we're just going to walk over this way. I'm going to hop on out the water and we're going to try to get some pictures of this guy on the bank. Yeah, first trip of the day. Hopefully we'll uh, catch some more stuff. See you guys in a bit. Next up all the day is a very decently sized bus turtle. Uh, I believe this to be a large female. She's got a huge head. But I mean, she's also got a huge body. Look at that fat. <laughs> oh, she's really pretty though. Uh, you're definitely gonna get some pictures of this guy, but yeah, just another another little musk turtle. Honestly, it's probably gonna be all we get to find today. I mean, I was hoping to maybe see the first snakes of the new year, but it's still a little chilly for that. There's not a sun for them to be basking. Um, but honestly, I've just covered off of being sick, so I don't really mind a low-key herping day like this. I'm not <sighs> getting bitten by erythrogasters and rhombifers and fasciatas. But yeah, we're just going to snap a few photos of this girl and throw her back. I'll see you guys in a bit. Next trip of the day. I don't know if y'all could really see it, but I certainly could. Down there somewhere, there's this little bus turtle that I'm going to try to catch him. He seems a little bit more active than the other ones, so... Might have a bit harder of a time. I guess not. He's much prettier. That's for certain. Oh, that's a glass bottle I just stuck on. We're gonna jump right back across. Yep. Little eastern musk turtle. The other one may have been a mug mud turtle, um, but this one's definitely an eastern musk turtle. It's really pretty too. Uh, I think this probably is a female based off of different things. I mean, I'm just speculating. But uh, we're gonna try to get some pictures. And we'll put her back in the water. See you guys in a bit. Alright, well, I've gotten enough pictures of these guys today. This one looks interesting, so we're gonna go check it out. If it cooperates. This looks like a mud turtle, actually. He's covered in white clay. Cool dude. I believe he's a dude based off thickness of tail and whatnot. Pretty cool. We're just gonna put him back. I mean, I've already gotten enough pictures of some stratum and some saurus today. I don't think I pronounced those right. That's something I'm gonna have to work on in the future. Is uh, pronunciation of turtle scientific names. I'm pretty good with the snakes. That's because I have a bias. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna try to work on turtles in the future. Yeah. 
again, it's a pretty low key day. We're gonna keep on going, see if we can find anything else. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, boys, uh, it's not a active snake, or right now, I mean, it's signs of activity. Uh, big water snake shed sitting here. It's complete. I'd take it if I had something to store it in, but it's wet and I'd have to let it dry out and whatnot. Uh, yeah, really cool stuff. It definitely means snakes have been active recently. Um, the fact that it sheds means somebody thought it was summer again. Maybe we'll see him. It's that one up there. All right, well, I'll check back in you guys with a little bit of the next turf. See you guys then. A little green and old. You always expect to see a few of these guys when you're out walking creeks. Very common lizard around here. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to show you guys. He's really pretty right now, actually. I really like the way he looks. But I uh, probably won't get a picture because they're so common. Just going to keep on moving on. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So when I was walking through there, I managed to catch the first snake of the year, which is, this is definitely a recapture. I've caught her before. Y'all saw last time I caught Nerodia, uh, this big old four-foot plain-bellied water snake. It's going to really hurt if she bites me. I'm going to try to distract her with my foot because it's not going to hurt if she gets me in the croc. As you can see, this is a pretty big snake. Uh, but this is going to be the first one I get to take pictures of with my camera for snake. Uh, and I'm a little psyched about that. We're just going to have to get her to calm down. Uh, and then, you know, after I'm done with my pictures, we're just going to release her back into that big thing. Yeah, what a gorgeous, gorgeous mama jama. But yeah, we're going to take some pictures. And I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. See you all then. Well, that was a struggle. But I guess it's time now to release this girl. Go on back, it's about to get cold again. There you go. That is one big snake. Hopefully we'll see her again sometime. So I'm pretty sure I'm all good with uh, her for now. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, here we have the next two herps of the day. Over here is this little river cooter just sitting there. And there's this big old alligator. Uh, he's now about four feet. Uh, and I'm going to hope that he just kind of stays there so I can get some pictures of him. But, uh, yeah, no, he's looking really nice. This is, however, why in waters like this, if I cannot see the bottom, I don't go in because there are things like this alligator. And while this guy probably couldn't do more than take off like a hand or a foot, I mean, it's still taking off a hand and a foot. I'd much prefer not to have that happen. Uh, really cool dude, though. Wow, he's, he's really pretty. But uh, yeah, we're going to try to catch some pictures with my phone, and uh, then I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so as you can see, I'm pretty close to this alligator, and uh, it's not attacking me. These animals don't want to attack you. I mean, maybe a really, really large one would maybe consider you a food item. But this one clearly doesn't consider me a food item. In fact, right now, he thinks I'm a threat. This is evident, and the closer I get, the more he tenses up. So what's probably going to happen is he'll lash out a little bit in this direction and then swim off as fast as he can that way. Or maybe down there, because it gets pretty deep right next to me. Um, again, these animals aren't something that should be feared. You shouldn't, I mean, you shouldn't fear most animals. A lot of people think that you go out, you have fear for these, and that's why you're able to, no, 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 you don't fear them. But you should definitely give them your respect. Because even though this is still a juvenile, and I could honestly probably catch this thing, uh, he could very well still injure me very easily, so we're going to give him the respect he deserves. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool guy. I'm going to keep on taking pictures, and then I'll probably leave him be. Uh, we're going to want to go up that way, but I mean, I'm right next to where I can just bypass it without messing with him, so we're just going to try to get a few more pictures, and then uh, we're going to move on. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, new species for the video. This right here is a little common snapping turtle I found swimming along, and man, he is gorgeous. Probably going to get some pictures, and I might even try to get some pictures of him inside the stream, because the stream's really nice and clear right now, so I uh, could probably get some decent naturalistic photos with my camera. But uh, cool stuff. Again, we're still on the lookout, because that alligator was pretty large, and uh, we don't know if he has any friends in here. But uh, yeah, cool dude. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit.
All right, guys, I don't know if it's alive because uh, it's pretty ancient looking. There is a big cooter shell just right here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the water. But I'm going to have to use both my hands because if it is alive, this is a really big dude. All right, well, I'll check back in with you guys with the final verdict. This is just a huge cooter shell. It's just an empty carapace, which is so cool to find like this. It's a little upsetting because it did mean a river cooter died. But it's pretty much all cleared out of, empty, of flesh and stuff, all the excess bones are. And so it's just the carapace. So I'm actually going to take this home because this is, could be used for so much educationally. And like, this is really cool. So I'm going to take this with me. Uh, all right, cool stuff. I'll check back in with you guys later. Guys, right, so we're back. I'm carrying this cooter shell with the snake and snake of the day. This little eastern ribbon snake. Gorgeous little guy. And he's got some, actually, he's got some really pretty colors. Second snake of the new year. Uh, should look great in photos. We're going to go ahead and try that. Um, yeah. I'll check back in with you guys later after I'm done photographing. All right, time to let this guy go. We're going to keep on moving on. Oh, he's more interested in just hiding right now, I guess. All right, well, we'll leave him to it. I'll see you guys in a bit.